play devil's advocate a little bit because we were talking a fair amount about how older students, non-traditional students mm -hmm. are looked on favorably by the medical school for their mm -hmm. maturity and their experience and everything that they bring to the table. Um, but I also know that there's a, a certain flag that gets raised on an older student, particularly a career changer. If you've spent a good amount of time in one career and now you've decided, oh, I really want to be a doctor, I know some medical school admissions officers I've spoken to have said, well, how do I know you're not going to change your mind again and that you're a good investment for a medical career? Good question. I, I, so part of the whole package, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about grades, we talk about MCATs, but the other thing that's extremely important for medical schools and the health professions is you need to have had a history of volunteerism, a history of, you know, patient contact, physician interaction. And so that is looked at as part of the package. What else have you done? Um, you know, even um, outreach types of programs in your, you know, neighborhood. That's all part of giving back to the community that you live in. So we look for, you know, what is the reason behind this sudden change? Is that reason based on um, experience? Is this uh, a well-researched uh, decision? Mm -hmm. When did it come about? How did it come about? And what have you done to prove that you know what the profession is about? So that's extremely important. Mm -hmm. I would just add in, if you're a non-traditional student, you know you'll, you'll likely be asked this question. So formulate a good answer to give in an interview. Mm -hmm. Formulate a great answer to write in a personal statement but anticipate this question ahead of time and use and harness that, that passion and that energy to really be able to define why and how you're going to become an outstanding physician. Absolutely. And I think that's actually something that we talked right. about a little bit in the July episode of The Pulse, not to keep referencing other right. episodes, but <laughs> when we talked about interviews, we talked about the importance of, of not having canned answers, but having considered answers right. to the questions that you know are going to be coming. So Absolutely. that's certainly one for non-traditional applicants. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I think I would add, Ellen, for individuals that have had multiple careers, you know, and by that I mean, you know, initials after their name. Mm -hmm. you, you can MBA, JD, whatever, and now it's MD. And not to disparage any of that, but admissions committees might say, wow, first this, now this, now mm -hmm. this. But that's rare. You know, that's Certainly. typically mm -hmm. rare.